Hi everyone, today's headlines. Closure of NS29 stretch on September 26 and 27. Nagaland COVID-19 tally 5730. NSCN IM meets Sumi leaders at Pugaboto. Transport department allows registration of BS4 vehicles. NPF condemns truck drivers killing in Dimapur. Naga issue impasse persists as September deadline nears. Revocation of cess on fuel takes effect. Domestic workers seize financial aid. Truckers and truck owners threaten to stop entering Dimapur. CBC class 12 compartment results to be declared on October 10. Farmers get ready for nationwide protest against farm bills today. Closure of NS29 stretch on September 26 and 27. Deputy Commissioner Dimapur has ordered total restriction of all movement along NS29 from Chate River Bridge, Patkai Bridge to Kukidolong from 7 a.m. of September 26, 2020 to 11 p.m. of September 27, 2020 for restoration work. Nagaland COVID-19 tally 5,730, with 59 fresh COVID-19 positive cases being reported from across the state. The tally rose to 5,730 cases on Thursday. According to a health bulletin, 46 cases were detected in Dimapur, 8 in Kohima, 4 in Zunaboto and 1 in Mon. NSCN IM meets Sumi leaders at Pugaboto. NSCN IM through its MIP said that its members held a meeting with leaders of Sumi civil society groups at Pugaboto under Sumi region to brief them on the ongoing Indo-Naga political talks. At the meeting, NSCN IM said the people of the area expressed their understanding of the talk and took the stand to fully support the Indo-Naga political solution that was honorable and acceptable. It said that the meeting also took the stand that solution must include Naga flag and constitution. Transport department allows registration of BS4 vehicles. The government of Nagaland has allowed registration of BS4 vehicles sold on or before March 31, 2020, whose sales have been uploaded on the e wagon portal of the central government and the state government and the registration of which could not be done or completed due to the lockdown. NPF condemns truck drivers killing in Dimapur. The Naga People's Friend has condemned the murder of Jidin Gogoi, a truck driver in the early hours of September 22 in Dimapur. A press release from the NPF Press Bureau empathized with the kith and kin of the victim in particular and the business community in general at their honor of grief and angst. Naga issue Impasse persists as September deadline nears. Time is running out as a September deadline to ink the Indo-Naga solution. However, there appears to be no breakthrough in the talks as the stalemate over Naga flag and constitution continues. Sources said the National Socialist Council of Nagalim has asked the government of India to resolve their demand for a separate Naga flag and constitution by this month to ink the final agreement. While the national media have reported that the central government has already rejected the demand for flag and constitution, NSCN IM said that the two key demands would be the basis to sign the final agreement. If not, we are prepared to face any eventuality. Sources said, Revocation of cess on fuel takes effect. A day after the cabinet decided to withdraw the COVID-19 cess on diesel and petrol and other motor spirit, the state government has notified that the revocation of cess would come into effect from the midnight of September 24, 2020. With the withdrawal of cess, petrol price would cost Rs 80.39 per litre in Dimapur. While in Kohima, it will cost Rs 81.29 per liter. A liter of diesel in Dimapur and the state capital would now cost for Rs 72.20 and Rs 72.92 respectively. Domestic workers seek financial aid. Left without any work for six months straight, domestic workers in Nagaland have turned to the central government via the Lok Sabha. MP from Nagaland, Tokeho Yeptomi, for financial aid. Addressing a press conference in Dimapur on Thursday, the director of Assisi Center for Integrated Development and Co-Coordination of National Domestic Workers Union, Nagaland Region CIS, Pramila Lobu, said that the pandemic has left 70% of domestic workers in India 
without work for six months now. Truckers and truck owners threatened to stop entering Dimapur. Following the brutal killing of one Jiden Gogoi, a truck driver in Dimapur on September 22, various associations representing truckers and truck owners have threatened to stop all trucks from entering Dimapur if the Nagaland government does not fulfill their demands within three days. In a joint statement issued on Thursday, Dimapur District Truck Owners Association, Dimapur Truck Drivers Union, Dimapur District Truck Driver Welfare Trade Union, Lahurijan and Katkadi Truckers Welfare Society, and Bokajan Truck Owners Association have demanded the state government to give immediate compensation to the victim families and end the lease system employed by the Dimapur Municipal Council. CBC class 12 compartment results to be declared on October 10. In a relief to around 2 lakh students, CBC and UGC informed the Supreme Court on Thursday that class 12 compartment exam results will be declared by October 10 and admission to undergraduate courses will be on till the end of that month. Farmers get ready for nationwide protest against farm bills today. As per the media reports, several farmers' organizations have announced Bharat Burn on September 25 to protest against farm bills passed by the parliament. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.